Everything we do is going to be about winning. Okay, we're going to learn to do things the right way, and that's the only way we're going to do them. Because if it doesn't help us, we're not doing it, man. That's just as simple as it gets. Win the Super Bowl. That's going to mean it, too. You know, I, I, one of the things that, that the only reason you become a head coach in this league, in my opinion, is to win. That's it. That's the bottom line. If you do it for any other reason, you're wrong. Hey, Washington football fans, welcome back. So today on the PFF podcast, Sam Monson gave Washington another little nod, another vote of confidence for the season. But before we talk about that, can I go ahead and ask you guys, anybody that's not subscribed, to go ahead down there, click that little red button. It would mean a ton to me. And if you click it right now, you got a chance of like pushing us over that 500 sub mark. I mean, we're only like four off. So if you're clicking it now, you could be 500. What do you get for that? Bragging rights. But still, it would mean a lot to me. So, uh, yeah, uh, it's been great so far. Like how the channel is growing, it's way quicker than I ever imagined. And it's awesome. But it would be even more amazing if we could double that up somehow, hit 1,000 subscribers before the season starts so I can live stream and you guys can hear me read the refs, the riot act, like I think they could actually hear me or something and also give my neighbors heart attacks when we make a great play. So that would be awesome if we could... Somehow do that before the season starts. Now, nothing for sure is on the books yet, but me and Bloodshot Sports have talked about it, and when we get to where we can live stream, we want to do some stuff together. Like, I'm a big fan of his. He's a fan of mine. We're both passionate Washington football team fans, and we just vibe together. So hopefully when we get there, we can, you know, do some stuff together about the team. And if you guys aren't subscribed to him, you need to check him out. Bloodshot Sports is awesome, super passionate fan. You won't regret it. He always gets me pumped. And honestly, like, he just sounds cool. Like, I think the guy sounds like like a smoother tone loke. And he's out there getting his hype for the burgundy and gold. So check him out, too. You know... Yeah, Bloodshot Sport, awesome. So, uh, also, I got in the car there. I have my uh, Buy Me a Coffee and Venmo names. So, anything would be greatly appreciated. It's down there if you want to, you know, help me out. Anyway, back to PFF Sam. Low-key, I think Sam Monson just might be a closet Washington football team fan. Heck, we get respect from a couple of the PFF crew guys. Like, uh, the Burgundy Zone just had, uh, oh, man, Austin Gale on there. And, like, he was he was pretty high about us. And I think that's huge for our team because I think they're the most respected analytic guys out there, in my opinion. And if they're giving us praise... I think it adds a ton of legitimacy to our hype. Especially when you look at our team and how it's built, it kind of flies in the face of PFF's opinion on modern team building and how they're usually all about you need a franchise quarterback, you need to build a strong secondary instead of like the old school approach of building in the trenches like we've kind of done. You know, yet in spite of that, they can't help but shoot us praise for the quality of our team. And on their podcast today, they were going over what ifs, you know, what if scenarios, what if this happens, this team going to be good, if they can do this, can you know, what if scenarios. And Sam brings up the idea, what if someone puts together an all-time great defense 
you know, in this modern era NFL, what if somebody does that? Something like the Legion of Boom, the 2015 Broncos, and what if somebody can do that to the point that it elevates mediocre quarterback play? And he talks about how hard it is to do because you have to hit on so many players. He says like 12 guys. You got to have like 12 guys on the defensive side of the ball instead of just a couple big playmakers on offense. So it's much harder to have your defense carry you than an offense. And Steve Palazzolo, he uh, names off some of the defenses in recent history, like I said, like the Broncos, the Legion of Boom, stuff like that. And Sam also, uh, Steve goes into... Hey, do you think, what do you think about the Rams? You know, they were almost there last year. Do you think the Rams could be, you know, this legendary defense next season? And Sam kind of like, just kind of shuts him down. He's like, and I quote, the only team that could, end quote, because he kind of says some other things, but it's the Washington football team. He talks about how badass, his words, our defensive line is, and how rare it is that we drafted them all. And they've all managed to work out. He talks about how the Falcons tried to sign a bunch of former first-round pick guys that didn't work out and hadn't worked out. But we drafted all of our defensive linemen in the first round, and they've been monsters. You know, he he left out the fact that we got some late round guys that kick ass there too, but he mentions that. He mentions how good adding William Jackson the third was, how good Curl was, the possibility of Landon Collins still being able to play good football because he's young. He also joked about the great David Mayo as well, but he goes on to say, and I quote, they have the bodies. They have the horses to be a really, really good defense. Then Steve brings up the Broncos. You know, he wants to know if the Broncos have the ability to do it again. He goes over all the players they got coming back, and Monson kind of shuts it down, even though they're a team that has built way more closely to how PFF prescribes. You know, with the crazy cornerback depth they got, they put a lot of value into the secondary, you know, skill positions. And he says, even if the Denver Broncos had one of those defenses, they can't win. But if Washington turns into an all-time great, he can talk himself into Fitz actually winning a Super Bowl where he can't see Locke or Bridgewater doing it without screwing it up somehow, which is kind of crazy because Fitzpatrick's kind of got the reputation for screwing it up, but he thinks that Fitzpatrick could get it done with our defense playing at that level, whereas he thinks Locke or Bridgewater would put too heavy of a burden on their defenses. So. I know it was like a little what if scenario, but him saying that, him saying that the Washington football team, in his opinion, is the only team that he thinks could have a defense good enough to carry the team to a Super Bowl victory. Like that that got me pumped. Like, I don't know if you guys have noticed, you know, watching my videos, but I use a lot of PFF grades and stuff all the time. I respect and put a lot of stock into their opinions. Uh, I think their, you know, I think their analytics are very spot on, very important to, you know, predicting players and projecting things. I think that stuff all has a lot of merit to it. So when their opinion is positive of us, it, it just pumps me up. Now, this isn't the first time that Sam shouted us out. Like I said, I think he might be a closeted you know, Washington fan, like he, he shouted us out a couple times and I think we can now, you know, safely throw them into the group of the national media guys that are giving us a real shot this season. 
And all I got to say is there's a lot of people out there going to be surprised as hell when we run through some serious teams and go deep into the playoffs. But the numbers are growing every day of people that are going to be like, see, told you Washington was badass. So I just wanted to bring that up, talk about it. You know, somebody else on the bandwagon, you know, somebody whose opinion I think actually matters as far as the sport goes. So, yeah, I mean, if you guys liked the video, if you hadn't heard about that because it's buried deep in the podcast. I don't know if you guys watch the PFF podcast, but they're awesome. And uh, it's great to hear our team get some praise. And, uh, yeah, like I said, if you liked the video, please like the video. Subscribe, share, comment. Let me know what you think. Is this just a bunch of, you know, like, oh, screw PFF. They're just numbers, dorks that don't know anything. Or does this really hype you up that, you know, some eggheads out there are like, yeah, this is the team. So I uh, love everybody. Watch the video. Peace.